The interesting thing about Avatar is it's not really a movie. It's not really a game. It's an experience. It's like I've seen things that I can't wait for other people to see. Avatar is an epic adventure fantasy set on the world of Pandora. Our hope is through other mediums, the fan base gets to explore the world of Pandora well beyond just the movie. It really is the actual creation from scratch, from ground up, a universe that no one's ever seen before. James Cameron wrote the story many years ago, but the technology wasn't there to build this story. Now we've arrived at a point in time where he has the technology to be able to produce this. This is the first time that I've been involved with a game from the inception of the movie project. Ubisoft is really looking how to converge storytelling into their games, and that's the exact goal of, of filmmaking. What they said to us was, we want to make a game from inside your thematic ideas outward. We decided we would kind of push the limits and, and, and introduce new mythology. And we came up with it, we presented it to him, very nervous-like. There you go. It uh, went to James Cameron, he looked at it, said, I love it, added some features himself, it's canon. We don't see it as them making the movie and us making the game. We see it as we're building a world together. Then the thought was, working with Ubisoft, well, wait a minute, well, we're working in a game engine, you're working in a game engine. Maybe some of the assets that we've already generated, of which there are literally tens of thousands, are things you can use. The resounding answer back was, yeah, give us everything you've got. So we did. We basically kind of did a download of the world to them. And it worked out beautifully. We have access to everything. Assets, concept arts, animations, sound files. It's, it's collaborative. It's more like, let's, let's brainstorm. Let's talk about what it is we can do with this, with this world. People will be really excited to be able to delve deeper into the world and to interact with these, these plants and these animals and see how they, how they react with you. And I think the game gives them that opportunity to be able to have this interaction. So we figure let's build one world and create two, two ways of enjoying it simultaneously, separately and in parallel. I think the thing that sets the Avatar game uh, apart is the, is the sensory nature of the experience. I also feel like that the game is, is true in spirit to the movie, so I'm happy. Pandora is beautiful and deadly. When you first are introduced, the deadly part is what you see. And then as you go deeper, the beauty starts to unfold. And you realize that it's, it's really paradise. It's really the Garden of Eden.